for you. See what I can do. Oh, but, oh my God. No. The game better. Okay, we're trying to like. I so crack, dude. Oh my God, Safari. You crack hard. You see, it feels like there's balance. You see. Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the new AK-74U class setup. Now the meta has changed. It's basically official at this point. Like pros have been running this 74U with these attachments, and the meta basically shifted not too long ago. XM4 banned. Pros complaining about the AK-74U, saying it's too good, it's too broken. You know, how can we nerf it? How can we reduce? I guess the OPness of it. So that's why we're using this new class. We're using these new attachments. And I'm going to be showing you guys the best class that all the pros are using right now. And the one I'm using as well. The one we dominate with. Let's get right into it. Now, like I said, the AK-74U is so broken. And I agree. It's pretty damn good that pros want to rock. Want, want, we have agreed to basically rock a four attachment 74U. Now, you can always make the argument. Well, you can put a, a magazine on it. Tape mags, 40 round drum. It's a no-no. It's a no-go because it makes it still good. The whole point is to, I guess, nerf it. I was kind of down to run tape mags. I actually liked it, but you know, this is the argument behind it, right? Like we want to make the 74U not as good. We want to reduce its OPness. You know, we got to like nerf it somehow. So the best idea we came up with is run a four attachment. Basically what we used to run was the muzzle. You guys know this. It was either the muzzle break or the spetnaz compensator, but they said, let's get this out of here. Because it makes it too broken. Then we tried, okay, we won't use the muzzle. Steady aim was always already not allowed. And then we're like, all right, let's run the 40 round drum tape mags. And that was also, like I said, a no go. So this is the four attachment AK 74U class. Honestly, I did struggle a little bit at first with the recoil control. It was a little difficult for me personally. I'm not even going to lie. You know, my aim wasn't the best with it. But eventually, just like muscle memory and just like anything, you can get used to it. You can get, you can actually control it pretty well. And now I can shoot it pretty damn straight, but enough talking. Let's go to attachments. So for the barrel, we got the 9.3 extended. This is the barrel we've been using all season long. Um, obviously, it's just the one that makes it. It's just, it's nice. No cons. It's it's good, but it's not like a broken because obviously we use the task force to start the game, which actually was absurd. And you have other stuff like liberator gives you even more bullet velocity. Reinforce gives you damage and bullet velocity. And at that point, again, it makes AK-74 you a do-it-all gun. And that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to avoid do-it-all guns for to lower the skill gap, essentially. And also, whoa! Was I actually running Spetnaz grip? Whoa. Maybe that's why I was shooting a straighter. But either way, uh, we're running Spetnaz speed grip. That is the attachment we run a lot. Um, it's just a good attachment overall for a submachine gun. Huge boost to sprinting move speed. And then, of course, it gives you the nice horizontal recoil control. For the handle, we got the nice elastic wrap. It's just an overall goatee attachment. Just got to love that one. And then we got the skeletal stock. Just another great attachment. You don't really hit fire much in this game. So hit fire accuracy. Here's right. That's what I'm saying. So those are the attachments I like to run on the AK-74. You basically what class that all the pros are running. And we are going to be here. This looks like a sweaty lobby already. I can smell it. I can see it. But we're going to be rocking a new AK-74. You see what I can do on the map with this bad boy. I'm a little cold right now, but boy, do I still got the beamer cold or not? I'm not sure. Oh, yo, you, Mr. Tobes, dude, you can still beam. I'm trying to explain to you guys. I know some of you guys probably hate this no muzzle thing, but I'm, it's not the end of the world. Oh my god, what? Oh, I got that two piece, man. That's what you call a two for one. You, mister you can't stop me oh top three get up where no he jumped down oh my god they're all pushed now good shots good shots i know some of you guys don't always like the fact that you know pros are trying to change stuff up and at the end of the day like you gotta understand like we're trying to make the game better okay we're trying to make the game more competitive more balanced you know we don't do it because like we want to say you know we hate people or we want to like mess things up more we're trying to make things even better you know oh my god this guy's crock dude it's literally like 3 a.m in the morning dude why are you so crock why are you so crock dude oh my god so sorry you crack too you almost they literally just got on they snorted drank a whole tub of g fuel and they're just ready to game dude like these guys are so twisted like i gotta focus up so hard and like actually go really hard for these kills because if not they're just gonna kill me you see it feels like there's balance you see like 
normally I would lose that if he had a muzzle there, but since zombies and since we're using no muzzle, I'm able to kill that kid. Got a better shot. You know what the drop shot? This is where this attachment comes through. Easy like that. Bad energy's in the hill. I mean, what's in the hill? My bad. I'm sorry, I, wrote, I said that wrong. I know. My bad. I hate when I see stuff like that, dude. I kind of lied, but I didn't. So at the moment, with this meta change, and we've been scrimming, we've been trying it out. I honestly, after playing with it for a couple days, I like it. I mean, it took me a little while to get used to, and I, you know, I was like, at first, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I kind of don't like it. And then after playing the game more, after shooting the gun more, after you know. Getting a feel for everything more. I realized that it's not that bad at all. Um, subs do have a little bit of advantage over ARs. I will say that. XM4 was just like a do-it-all gun. It was like really good. And then going back to like a Craig AR or whatever AR, like it's not, it's just not, it's good. The gun's not horrible by any means, but 74U is just absurd. Time to kill. Uh, it's range. It's, just, it's a very good overall gun. And with with the nerf, like basically with taking away attachments and all that stuff, like it definitely makes it easier for the ARs. But it's still sub seventy four is absurd. The one gun I low key despised ever playing against the AK freaking forty seven man. That gun, dude. That that gun right there. It's just it's just a fun time. I mean, it's a four shot kill range. It's a 74U in my opinion. It's a 74U on steroids, basically what it is. Like, it four shot kill range. The range is 10 times the 74Us. Time to kill is basically the same. It has like, I mean, it's just absurd. No stick, no stick for apathy. See you later, AK-47 player. We got another satellite, let's see what's here. We got double satellites now. Here, Mr. Tobes. God, he called me a cis man with eight bullets. Damn, that right there just. I killed him before they could kill me, man. I beamed that guy. That's just beaming, demon, seam. I mean. I mean, uh. So shots, uh. It's, it's hot. Here's where attachment comes in, in clutch, elastic grab, but he's not gonna push me. Wall bang that guy. Hit that guy. Five bullets left. Gonna have to hit a reload here. Jump shot. Go for the finish. Pop the armor plate. You can press triangle to cancel right away if you did not know that. Slide wide. I'm weak. I'm weak and I'm dead. <laughs> they go together, right? He has aim on. This guy says he has aim bodies. He's literally triple pause, not even at TKIs. He's definitely probably negative. Push the spawn right here. And I'm telling you, man, you watching me play right now, like... Hey, your bad energy is like 600, and he has, he has like soft lock aim. Maybe, I mean, he could have. Maybe he's just so, so yeah, bad. That, it, maybe so bad, he's got soft lock aim, but like, it's definitely possible. He left the game because he got caught. Ha! See you later, bad energy. He left the game, oh, bro. he left the game. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, he got caught. <laughs> the beams are still pretty good. You know, like I definitely used to beam a little bit harder with the muzzle brake, et cetera, et cetera. But the beams are still solid, man. They're still there. I, you know, I've gotten used to it. And this is a class all the pros are using. And trust me, once you get a hang of it, once you use this class, it's going to take some time. I know a lot of you guys might struggle first. Some of you guys might say, I hate this shit. I don't like it. I played against some people in League Play who use these attachments already who are with the meta. And um, they shoot pretty straight. It definitely, like I said, it's gonna you're gonna struggle a little bit at first, but uh, you're gonna get used to it, man. You're, you're gonna like it. You're gonna get used to it. You're gonna like it. You're gonna be ha if you're a sub player too. You're gonna be happy you're not shooting against XM4s anymore. But shooting against an XM4 is let me tell you, stressful. It's hard. It's hard. To Yo, your teammate fighters. was hacking in the other. Like uh, his name was Bad. Moving to Is this him? Ha. Huh? You're, you had a teammate that was hacking in the back. How can you tell? Nah, we just watched the kill cam. Yeah, I'm leaving. Hold that voice crack. <laughs> huh? Guys, that's going to be it for me today. Make sure to like the video. It helps a ton. Leave down in the comments below whatever you want about the AK-74U. You can say it smells pretty.
Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.